Hi, my name is Ajinkya Moreshwar Bhagurkar. I am a doctoral candidate at the Department of Pharmaceutics and Drug Delivery at the University of Mississippi. Just imagine, it's the height of summer and that means sunshine. And you're having a wonderful time with your family making chicken barbecues on a Sunday afternoon. And then, all of a sudden, due to accident, you get some burns on your hand due to the barbecue grill. Painful. And then you have to apply cream every now and then until the burn heals. Not at all convenient, right? Don't worry, here comes the solution. My research focuses on development of nanostructured lipid carriers, which when applied to such burns, the drug from these carriers is released for more than 16 hours, which means no more frequent application. These nanostructured lipid carriers are basically spherical lipid particles inside which the drug is entrapped. So the background of the slide that you can see is not a sky full of stars. Those are my lipid carriers under the microscope after proper staining. So my dissertation has two main focus. First is the development of these lipid carriers using a novel approach of hot melt extrusion technology. Hot melt extrusion involves pumping of raw materials at elevated pressure and temperature in a barrel so as to get a uniform product. The barrel as such has two shafts and on these shafts there are screw elements that are mounted. While in operation, the screws rotate inside the barrel and they ensure the efficient mixing of all the components along with the drug. Thus, using this extrusion technique, we were able to successfully prepare the lipid carriers. This technique offers many advantages over the conventionally used methods like shorter processing time, fewer unit operation, which makes it a very economical process. Also, the US FDA recommends the use of such continuous manufacturing operations. The second aim of my project was to study the release of drug, that is lidocaine in this case, from the lipid carriers. And to investigate that, we had to carry out different types of studies like in vitro drug release studies, mechanistic studies using pig skin, and we had to analyze the drug release pattern. We observed that the drug release was controlled and sustained for more than 16 hours. Thus, the formulation has potential for pain management in wounds and in severe burns, and it will thus improve the patient compliance. Once this technique gets closer to commercialization, it will prove a boon to the pharmaceutical industry. Thank you.